Dear Christian friends, I'm Elder Prospero from Healing Christian Center in the United Kingdom. Uh, please join me in praying for revival in the church. This is part one of a series in the men and family prayer series. This is 11 in the series. We're praying for revival in the church according to Psalm 85 verses 6 to 7 and Acts chapter 1 verse 8 and Acts chapter 2 verses 1 to 42. We pray for God to revive us, Psalm 85, verse 6. Revive us, Lord, let the heart of men begin to turn back to you. Revive in us a passion for your word that will transform our lives. Revive in us dreams and visions you have put within us to feather your kingdom. Revive us and let us be a people who rejoice in everything you are doing in our lives. Revive us and transform our relationships with our families, work colleagues, neighbors, and your people as you transform us. With salvation, as Psalm 85, verse 7. O oh Lord, begin a movement within the men of the younger generation that changes the landscape of the church. We cry out for every husband whose wife knows you, but they don't, that they will come into your kingdom. We call the prodigal sons back into your kingdom together with the families you have given them. We bind the enemy's plans and schemes to stop men from encountering the living God. Let us show the love you pour out upon us to the world that we encounter. We pray for the Holy Spirit, Acts chapter 1 verse 8. God, pour out your Spirit on every man in the local Elim churches. God, pour out your Spirit on every man in the whole Elim movement. God, let the men of our church be men who are led and guided by your Spirit. Prepare us to be new wineskins in order that fresh wine may be poured into us. Let us be men who continuously cry out for more of your Spirit in our lives. We pray even at this time for the word to go through our Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the rest of the world, as in Acts chapter 1, verse 8. God, let us be men who share your transformational gospel, firstly with our own families. Let us be men who take part in bringing your righteousness to our cities in order that you will begin to bring whole communities to yourself. Father, we cry out for our nation that you will begin to move like you once did. God, we say, do it again in our time and through us. God, we pray that you will continue to raise up godly men who will continue to travel to other nations to see your kingdom come. God, we pray that you will continue to send men from other nations to our nation to be a catalyst in reviving the men of the United Kingdom. We pray for unity, Acts chapter 2 verse 1. God restore broken relationships between men in the church. T. 
teachers to be men who don't compete against each other, but who join to pursue a common cause. Gather men together to worship you in spirit and in truth. Put a conviction within men to gather to pray for a move of your spirit and revival in our nation. Anoint us to be men who sharpen one another in every aspect of our lives. Shake us, O God. Acts chapter 2 verse 2. God, break into the lives of men up and down this nation. We pray that you will shake everything in our lives that needs to be shaken, taking us back to the foundations of your word if we need be. Father, we pray for a sound from heaven that will awaken our inner man. God, speak to us in such a way that it shakes us to the very core of who we are. God, we declare, awake, you sleeper, rise up from the dead, and Christ will shine through you. Let your glory fall, Acts chapter 2 verse 3. Let, O oh Lord, we pray that your glory will fall, sparkling a new favor for you. Lord, bring the men of your church into a place of holiness where they turn from their wicked ways. We pray that in our meetings, your presence will be so heavy that miraculous things will occur as your people meet together. Lord, let your glory fall, not only within our churches, but also in our workplaces. Let your Holy Spirit rest upon us so we get to the place where we refuse to move unless you lead us. We pray for gifts of the Spirit. Acts chapter 2 verse 4. Begin to spend a moment praying in tongues. Father, we declare that the men of this nation will see the full manifestation of your spirit on their lives. We pray for those who haven't been baptized by your spirit, that you will fill them till they are overflowing right now in Jesus' name. We pray for those who have been baptized in your spirit, that they will be continually and continuously filled again today. Father, we pray that the gift of the Spirit will be equally distributed amongst the men of our church today. We pray that those men who have received gifts will continue to use them for your glory. We thank you for answered prayer as you have heard us and you revive your church in Jesus' name. This is from Healing Men Ministry Empower Prayer Tax Force, All Year Prayer Diary, Volume 1. Thank you, dear friend, for praying with us, and God bless you, and have a wonderful day, even as you share this with other men on your contact list.